point I wanted to bring out. This is, we have white, this white fluff flows around and gets in these air conditioners. This one's not too bad, it's fairly vented, but you can see the fluff down here. It's plugging up the coils pretty good. All three of these, I don't know what brand these are. These are Ingersoll Rand. They're nice looking units, and they're quiet. And these these are some older trains. Now this condenser is vertical and the rain pretty much washes it off. This one over here. You can see the fluff's getting into it, but you can see how the rain is washing it off in another week or so. The rain will have washed it off pretty good. And um, it's not getting into the fins, it's just surface. So this will pretty much clean itself off. But here's, a, here's what I don't like about these train and American standard units. Yes. If you look in there, you see the stuff is getting into the those bristle fins, and these louvers are protecting the dust. It's keep it letting the dust stay on there. Now, the people here, they looks like they try to put a um, screen on it. See that got pretty plugged up. The tape, uh, it all fell off. But this is why I don't like air conditioners with louvers on them. It's, this is the problem. And this bristle tubing, it's cheap for them to produce. And they can do it quickly and they can make more money at it. But the, the customer is just going to have a plugged up condenser forever. And to wash those out you can't use any pressure on it because those little bristle fins just close up spine fins this is all it is, is just aluminum and if you put a heavy hose in there or a pressure washer it just closes them up so I, I think that's a big mistake and I would much rather go with um, a condenser a horizontal condenser. Uh, look how many years this. This is pretty old. These units. Look how long they lasted. Those units down there at least have a fighting chance. There's a chance that the rain will wash those off because they're open more. But that's just uh, just a point that I wanted to make later.